Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another vlog of mine. Today I came with this bunch of opinions about these platforms. Um, about these platforms uh, phenomena that is happening and I have noticed uh apparently since the the first atheist created his first channel on this platform um i never saw this happening that is um there is this kind of royal rambles so to speak between uh religious people and atheists um and at the religious side they also have a po they, they they have a point and in the atheist side they also have a point i'm saying this as an european portuguese person um and um what's happening uh not only in the united states of america but in 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 other southern American countries uh, is happening as well is this confrontation this lack of respect and this lack of uh, how should I say uh, of patience uh, serenity um, people are no longer People are no longer um, with with the will to respect each other and respect different opinions anymore. In fact, um, in social platforms and streaming platforms, giving our opinions have become like a, a crime. <sighs> Misinformation, hate speech something like that so the the pros and cons between these battles that are to, that are taking place on this platform from people from the united states um concerns me because it may end up in a civil war between liberal atheists and conservative christians and this can spread to my, to, to my old continent, Europe. But let's talk about the pros and the cons. The pros in the atheist spectrum, it's that uh, religion must not become one with the state, which is correct. Uh, religion and politics must stay separate like water from oil we live in the 21st century we we cannot allow on our western society to have a theocracy we know what's happening in theocratic countries and it's awful i give i give that reason and i give that pro and points and uh, affirmative um, position to the atheists meanwhile in the religious western spectrum uh, religious people on our western society are right to point the fingers of atheists that they are being too much complacent people they are too much complacent on uh, eating bugs, making bugs the new, how should I say, it's a French word that I forgot, um, man, this vlog is getting pretty messy, um, gourmet, uh, and there are, there are indeed, uh, non-believer or people, non-religious people who who are willingly uh, 
about to accept eating bugs such as locusts, crickets and buffalo worms, which is also um, far away of my comprehension. And I give that, I give that that point of reason to the religious people. Um, on the other, I got uh, now talking about the cons. The cons that that atheists have is they want the liberal atheists want to shove, want to force and to shove through our throats, so to speak, and into our minds, um, subcultural ways of life and ideologies that make no sense. Like, for example, uh, looks like somewhere, somewhere between this year and 2030, according to their so most wanted agenda, the agenda 2030, uh, it looks like I will be forced to to give up of my heterosexuality and I will be forced to like men, which, uh, which I don't agree, I don't like it. Um, this is one of the cons from the liberal atheist people. Um... Now the cons of the 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 religious um the religious people it's the um, they want to label people as demons uh and when they label people as demons they are um, which is a, a con that I don't don't agree with uh, especially as a former Catholic, uh, we should never demonize people or uh, make people look um, inferior just because they they are very confident about their knowledge, about their their studies, and. We should not force our beliefs into others, just like uh, liberal, just like liberal atheists don't don't have the right to force their ideologies upon the minds of the conservative uh, religious people. So this is the backlash that I've that I've noticed on this platform by watching the both sides of this digital conflict with spectrum that is uh, conservative religious versus liberal atheists and it's kind of scary to to think that I, I could have born at, at that side of the Atlantic Ocean so thank goodness that I'm Portuguese and that I live in Europe um, this was all for today um, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching until now. Uh, leave a like if you think that I deserve. I have tried to to stay as neutral as as neutral as possible as possible. Uh, sorry for my English since I'm Portuguese. I'm a Latin European person. I'm not an English f fluent peop a person, so, and I'm a little nervous. I don't know why, since I'm correct uh, recording this on my on my phone while I'm lying in bed, as you can see. So this was all for today, and as always, epic trees magistos over and out.